Hello everyone, Charles Watts here, the Arsenal correspondent at Gold, joining you just after Arsenal's 2-0 win here at the Emirates against Newcastle. I'm looking out at the moment, watching Gabriel Martinelli doing his post-match interviews to the various TV companies in front of me here on the pitch. Martinelli, certainly the hero of the day for Arsenal, coming on and scoring after 93 seconds to make it 2-0 and pretty much sealing the win for Arsenal, who after struggling really to break Newcastle down in the first half, despite having lots of possession, nearly 80% of possession, and I think it was 11 shots, something like that, in the first half. Struggled to break Newcastle down, but they did so in the second. Much, much better in the second half. Played with a lot more intensity, moved the ball quicker, pressed much better, and uh, eventually got the goal. Saka scoring the first, and Martinelli coming on after Saka got injured and scoring at the second. First goal here at the Emirates for Martinelli since that Sheffield United game, I think in January 2020. Incredible, that. Um, and his first goal at all since the goal right at the end of last season away at Crystal Palace. Um, so you can see it meant a lot for him. And like I said, he's down there now, him and uh, Ben White doing interviews. And you could see in his celebrations, Martinelli, after the goal, it meant an awful lot to him to score that one. Um, fair play to Mikel Arteta, who, when Saka went down injured, he thought probably Nicolas Pepe might come on to replace him. But he opted for Martinelli, and it proved to be an inspired decision that uh, would finish. And a really good goal by Martinelli as well, who... Cheer, the cheers you can hear behind me at the moment are for him um, as he makes his way off the pitch and Mikel Arteta makes his way on the pitch to do his post-match interviews. Great to see Martinelli have a moment like this because he needed it. I think we all love Martinelli, don't we? We all remember how he started his Arsenal career and it's been really difficult for him to sort of sustain that level. He's been in and out of the side. He's not scored too many goals, only two last season. Um, Sheffield United and Crystal Palace, none at home, obviously. Um, and he's had to really wait for his... his um, opportunity this season. I think he's played eight games, uh, not scored, um, but then finally getting a goal today. It's a lovely goal as well. Tommy Asu, brilliant pass over from Tommy Asu, who I thought was really, really good today. Tommy Asu, again, um, lofted pass over the top. Martinelli just watched it come over his shoulder. Really difficult finish, but he did it on the volley, swept it past Dubravka into the far corner and um, put the seal on the win. And after that, Arsenal were never really going to let it slip against the Newcastle side. I think they're in real, real trouble. They are bang average, this Newcastle side. Defensively not great. Going forward today, they didn't look, cause Arsenal too many problems. Shelby had one really good shot in the first half from distance, which Ramsdale did well to tip over. You know, Callum Wilson caused a couple of problems to Gabriel and Ben White. There was one instant just before Martinelli's goal actually when he went over the top. Um, Callum Wilson it looked like he was through, and to Nuno Tavares did really well to sort of cover him and sort of barged him over. Wilson went down in the box. He was wanting a penalty. Newcastle wanted a penalty. It wasn't given. It was really good defensive cover from Tavares actually. And then, you know, but about 30 seconds later, Martinelli scored to make it even more important that um, Tavares had done that. And uh, Tavares actually had, had a really good second half. He had a bit of a shocker in the first half. Really, certainly his decision making was wasteful. It was about four or five shots from distance and went sailing high and wide. He was frustrating the crowd a little bit with his decision making. Um, but he came out really strongly in the second half, set up Saka's goal, which was a lovely goal. And um, then made that defensive contribution as well in the build-up to Martinelli's goal. So fair play to him because he could have gone into his shell a little bit after that first half. But a few fans getting on his back for um, the way he was having that shot. But Arsenal now level on points with West Ham in fourth. And if West Ham don't win tomorrow or lose tomorrow at Manchester City, Arsenal will end the weekend outside of the top four on goal difference only. Um, which is just remarkable, really, when you consider the start to the season and those first three games. They've done really, really well. And I think the important thing today was just bouncing back from that Liverpool game. I said in my videos in the build-up to this one, after losing the way you did at Anfield, you had to bounce back today, especially with those tough trips coming up to Old Trafford and Everton. Um, it would have been awful not to get the points today and suddenly you could have been under a little bit of pressure going into the Old Trafford game on Thursday. But getting straight back on it today has just lifted the mood again. It's lifted the confidence again. And it's just ensured that what happened at Anfield last week, you know, not forgotten, but you can kind of put it to the back of your mind now and, and move on and go to that Old Trafford game. Hopefully get something from that. And um, that was just really, really key for Arsenal. So it's all in all a, a good day. Look, not their best performance, far from it, but they got the job done, they got the three points, and that's all that matters. And they were much, much better in the second half. Okay, then, right, let's do some player ratings, shall we? Um, I mean, in terms of Aaron Ramsdale, I said that, in the, I said in the build up, uh, in the first part of this video, um, the save he made from John Joe Shelby in the. Uh, 
in the first half. Absolutely crucial, fabulous save. Pushed it onto the crossbar and um, pushed it onto the crossbar. Great save. It was bending right. Looked like it was going straight into the top corner, but um, great save by him. Pushed onto the bar and you know just continues. You've run out of superlatives really for Aaron Ramsdale at the moment. And um, so I'm going to give Ramsdale. He didn't have too much to do. What do we have here? Newcastle. Shots on target, five, two in the first half, three in the second half. So, not, you know, he, he wasn't too busy. Basically, that one save from Shelby was the main save he has to make. So, I'm going to give Ramsdale a eight, um, mainly because of the quality that save. Tommy Asu thought was fantastic. He's going to get an eight as well. Didn't stop working. Tireless performance from him. Brilliant ball over the top for Martinelli for the goal. Uh, just doing what he's basically done since he'd arrived at this club, Tommy Asu. So, really good from him. Ben White and Gabriel, another clean sheet for those two. Um, relatively untested today. Newcastle didn't offer too much. Like I said, a few times Callum Wilson caused them some problems um, when a ball was played over the top. But other than that, pretty quiet from, um, from those two. So solid seven for them. Nuno Tavares, interesting performance from Tavares. Like I said, in the first half, pretty wasteful, making the wrong decision at times, shooting and crossing. And um, I, I wouldn't have been surprised if he got taken off at half-time and Tierney came on, but Arteta stuck with him. and. Tavares was a different player in the second half. His decision-making was on point. He set up the goal for Saka really, really well. Like I said, that defensive bit of play in the build-up to Martinelli's goal was impressive as well. So fair play to Tavares because he could have gone into his shell a little bit, but he didn't. And um, he came out and played really well in the second half. So I'm going to give Nuno a seven as well. Um, midfield, I thought Sambi was excellent. I'm going to give Sambi a man of the match, actually. I thought Sambi, more than anyone, tried to make things happen for Arsenal today. Um, Really good performance from him. I'm going to have a look, see what his, see what his stats were. Um, let's have a look. 91 touches of the ball for, um, for Sambi. He had most passes of anyone, 88, 82 of them were um, successful. 60 of them were in the opposition half. That's more than anyone else on the pitch. 93.2% um, accuracy with passing for Sambi. Really strong performance and a great response after what was a difficult game for him at Anfield last week. So I'm going to give Sambi an 8. Thomas Party, I, th I thought Party was pretty poor again. Um, as he was at Anfield, he's just not in the best of form at the moment, Thomas. I'm uh, going to give him a 6. Bakaya Saka and Emil, not as bright as they have been at times, but Saka got the goal. Unfortunately, went off in the second half just after scoring that goal. In the first half, they struggled to find too much space, those two, uh, Saka and Smithrow. I'm going to give Saka a 7 because he got the goal. I'm going to give Smithrow, um, uh, I'm going to give Smithrow a 6. Odegaard back in the side for, Od for Lacazette. Grew into the game in the second half. Odegaard, but still, um, you know, not massively influential as you want him to be. I'm going to give Odegaard a six and a Bamiang. I'm going to have to give a five for a Bamiang. Just didn't really do too much. Dreadful miss in the first half. Dreadful miss in the first. I don't know how he missed it. Open goal from two yards. Somehow hit the outside of the post after Smith Rowe's header had been saved. Um, no conviction in the finish really. He was just didn't. He just needed to put his foot through it, and it was just wafted his foot at it. Miss miss hit it outside of the post, and um, yeah, real. And not a great performance from Aubameyang, uh, so he gets a five from me. In terms of the substitutes, we had Lacazette, Elneny and Martinelli came on. I'm going to give Martinelli an eight um, just because of his goal. And it was great to see Martinelli score it because I, we all love Martinelli. We all want to see him score. And it's uh, so great to see him on, uh, on the target again. And uh, he gets an eight from me. The other two, I'm not going to really mark Lacazette and uh, Mohamed Elneny because didn't do too much. Game was done and dusted by the time they came on. Anyway. Thanks for watching. Anyway, what a good start to the weekend it's been. Arsenal have won three points in the bag. Now we can sit back and enjoy the rest of the football this weekend. Have a great day. Have a great weekend. Speak to you very soon.